Hey guys, Retro Badger here. This is the USS Scott. I think we can all guess who the ship has been named after. It shares some design characteristics with the Excelsior class and the Ambassador class. Also, its registration is NX9000, which is denoting a prototype. In terms of armaments, it's able to fire six photon torpedoes from the front and the rear. It's got a pretty decent phaser array. As a first test, I'm going to put this ship up against the Klingon Cavort, Bird of Prey. Right, here we go. Now the Klingon Cavort, as we saw in yesterday's Enterprise, it is a very powerful Bird of Prey. I remember the Enterprise firing all of those torpedoes at that one Bird of Prey and there was minimal damage to the shielding. Now if that had been a standard Bird of Prey, they wouldn't have been there still, in my opinion. But as you can see, we can fire quite a few torpedoes, however, the launcher is quite slow, so it's not rapid fire at all. But it can load six at a time, which is impressive. But slow. Now that is a disadvantage in combat because you need to keep the front of the ship or the back of the ship facing the target. That is an issue. It's a nice ship though, it's like a variation of the Ambassador, but with some Excelsior features. It does remind me of the Pro Birds, it's just not as long. Wow, those Cavorts are something else, aren't they? Hopefully cause some damage. Yep, oh, there we go. Oh, they're gonna ram us. I think we got him. Almost. Yes! There we go. Now to be fair to the Klingons, I'm gonna do this battle from the other way around. Here we go. Now I really like the Cavort class in British Commander Remastered. It's very detailed, the model. Okay. Our shielding is good as well, it really is. Right, Klingon ship. Oh, those disruptors are so powerful, aren't they? Even the sound of them. And of course, the 20 year old bird of prey was able to take down the Enterprise D, apparently. Because shields cannot be modulated in a movie. It was cool seeing Kirk and Picard though, in the same movie, but a big part of me wishes that movie just didn't happen to be honest. The bottom shield is draining, sir. Wow, okay, so the Scott is holding up here. Thought by now we would have done more damage, to be honest, so... Cool. Yeah, look at that. I'm struggling to actually do any significant damage. I'm just doing hull damage, which obviously takes longer. Oh yeah, warp core damage. Oh, that's a weak spot on the ship, definitely. 
There we go. Straight through to the warp core. Oh, oh, explosion! Simulated enemy ah. ship has been destroyed. Oh, there we go. So the question is, who do we award that to? I've got to give it to the USS Scott. It just edged the Cavort class, in my opinion. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.